This is iOS 14.5 iOS 14.5 brings a lot of new features like app tracking transparency, but deep inside it patches a lot of exploits and vulnerabilities which are helpful for us wanting to jailbreak our devices. Now these all are patched in iOS 14.5, but they are still helpful because if they are patched in iOS 14.5, they are still present in all the previous iOS versions, that is iOS 14.4, 14.4.1 and iOS 14.4.2. Alrighty, if we open the security content page of iOS 14.5, I'll link it down in the description below in case you want to check it out. If we scroll all the way down, you'll see there are many kernel level exploits, which first of all is very cool. I think there are six or seven exploits and if even one of them gets released, we'll soon see Taurine jailbreak or uncover jailbreak getting updated for iOS 14.4. Now. As you can see, one exploit is by Paranef themselves and if you don't know who they are, they basically made the pre-jailbreak for very famous and very good, I use Taurine jailbreak, it's pretty darn cool. They made the pre-jailbreak for Taurine jailbreak and Taurine jailbreak is based on that pre-jailbreak that Paranef made, if that makes any sense. So I think they are super interested in helping us making jailbreaks so they might as well release the exploit because as soon as iOS 14.4.2 gets unsigned, they are safe to release the exploit to study to make jailbreaks out of and I think they would. There isn't like one kernel exploit, there are many. Again, not all of them are useful but some of them definitely are. And here, one of them is by Pangu Lab themselves and if you don't know who they are, they are the jailbreak team of that OG jailbreak sort of era, basically iOS 9, 9.2, 9.2.3 and stuff like that. Now everything looks fine here but I just want to suggest you to downgrade to iOS 14.4.2 if you accidentally update it to iOS 14.5 because iOS 14.4.2 will be unsigned pretty soon and then we'll see one of these exploits being released but at this stage I just want you to downgrade to iOS 14.4.2. With that being said, Free the Sandbox few hours ago posted this on Twitter. If you want to run an iOS LPE, it's probably wise to stay on iOS 14.4.2. Now this is cool but they don't in fact have an exploit. This was not an advice, they later posted this. This tweet is not an advice, we are not going to release a LPE for iOS 14.4.2 anytime soon. One last thing, make sure to subscribe to my newsletter, I'll link it down in the description below. Just enter in your email and click on the subscribe button. I just recently rolled this out like yesterday and we already have 500 subscribers which is bonkers. Like thanks to your support but if you want to make sure to subscribe to my newsletter and yeah. That's pretty much it. I hope you all enjoyed this quick video and doing these videos takes a lot of time. That's why I'm asking you to subscribe to my newsletter because then I can quickly roll out emails that hey guys this iOS is out, hey guys don't update to this iOS and whatever it is. Either way that's been it. I hope you all enjoyed this quick one and I'll catch you all very soon. Peace.